Attention, please. Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Is that true? You have my thanks. Very well. Good day. I'll be waiting then. I've been waiting for you. So, this is your current domicile, the student dormitory. So this is your room. I've never seen many of these items before. I might be permitted to ask, when I made the request to visit your room, did it make you a little suspicious? I see. In truth, there is something I wanted to tell you. During my forays into your world, I encountered a great many things. Every single one of our outings is a treasured memory, each one a polished, glittering gem. 
Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even visiting your school for a day. And I came to a realization. I had been subconsciously requesting to visit locations that were more and more central to your life. And today, I endeavored to visit the one place in your world where I could learn the most about you. That is the reason as to why I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold... Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? There was a moment where I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. It was the first time I'd ever felt that way. I thought to myself, why did I feel so fulfilled? But after coming all the way here, I finally found my answer. I believe it's because I had the chance to walk in your shoes. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for our guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason for being. When I'm together with you, I can have that all for myself. Let me put it more plainly. I'm rather naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times when I behaved quite strangely. However, even I understand the significance of inviting a gentleman into his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love for you to guide me through it. Thank you. I feel as if I've become an entirely different person compared to when I first set foot in your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. But I understand that wouldn't be ideal for you. That is why. I am drawing the line. No more visits here. I shall remain on my side. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I am truly grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. Are my requests. Let's hear the results. I'm looking forward to it.
Hi there. Everyone, attention please. I have an announcement regarding the recent Bay Area Art Contest. Hiraga-kun's painting was selected for consideration in the final round. Huh? Wow! Your piece was really good. You might even win. Please, it's all thanks to my paintbrush. I was lucky to use my dad's quality raccoon hair one. It really helped apply the paint to the canvas. So I'm sure that's the only reason the judges even noticed. Thank you. But I've only been painting for about two years now. So I never imagined my piece would go so far. You should have more confidence in yourself. You've been practicing so hard. He's right. Everyone knows how late you stay. Thanks, guys. But I should be supporting all of you, not the other way around. I'm sorry. I should be setting a better example for new members like you. I may not be much of an artist or a leader, but I hope we can keep working to improve our skills together. I've come this far. I might as well continue this for as long as I can. Oh, look at the time. Time to head home, everyone. How do I convince him? Why am I... I feel kind of weak. Your breathing is impaired, and your lips are pale. Did you get enough sleep last night? And what do you usually have for lunch? Uh, now that I think about it, I, I didn't eat breakfast today. Mm-hmm. I see. Just as I thought. Looks like anemia. Probably from an unbalanced diet. It must be all the fast food. I recommend adding more shellfish to your diet, like oyster and abalone. They're packed with iron and easy to cook. Well, this is just my amateur diagnosis, but you should still see a professional. I'm not a real doctor, after all. I'll take him to the nurse's office. You guys should head on home. See you back. Leader. I have a suggestion. Hello.
so... So you noticed, uh, last night, my aunt, she, uh, <laughs> she was taken by the angels. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you were not expecting to deal with this, my aunt was the reason I was able to come to Japan, and now she's been taken away. She helped me so much, but I could not do anything for her. I tried holding it all inside. I felt that crying would not help me. But when I saw the look on your face, I... Uh... Forgive me, but I cannot sew today. I am going home. Well, 
See you later. a lot of alcohol. When you grow up, are you going to drink alcohol too? I see. You should be careful about that. I heard that drinking too much is bad for your health. Alcohol has a very mature feeling about it, doesn't it? I don't think I'm a fan of all the rowdy parties, but having a nice glass does look kind of cool. Speaking of, remember that bar scene? Wow, it's late. Watching those bonus clips took longer than I thought. It's about time I head to bed. Good night. No one was here, so I figured it'd be okay. It's rare to see you here. Is it for the archery team? Yes, the teacher wanted a report. I see. That's a lot of responsibility. Oh, not really. It's nothing compared to what you have to do. Actually, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Senpai, what are you fighting for? Well, I... I guess you could say... It's my way of atoning for the past. In my case, I don't think I really have a reason anymore. I mean, I know the whole story about my father now. I guess I could still fix the mistakes he left behind, though. Maybe I should have thought about this earlier, huh? But it took me this long to start questioning myself. That's understandable. It seems like everyone has their own reason for fighting. Well, defeating the shadows is probably a good enough reason, huh? What are you trying to say? I'm not exactly sure. But it's all gonna be over after the next full moon. So there's not much point in thinking about it. That's true. Once we put an end to this, we can go back to a normal high school life. The rest of the student council will be here soon. We can pick this up later, though, if you want. Oh no, that's okay. Thanks for listening.
Thank you. Hey, I didn't know you had a dog. Is that a Shiba? That white fur is really nice. Almost makes him look mystical or something, don't you think? What? Oh man, he just looks so cool. I wonder how soft he is. Well, I don't want to make him uncomfortable or anything. Hey, do you think I could try petting him next time? I'll study up the proper way to do it. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. Give me a minute so I can calm down. The pain comes and goes, but I'll be fine once it passes. It's getting better. Thanks. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to cure me anyway, right? It just eases my pain and suffering. My medicine makes me drowsy, and if my hands go numb, then I can't write. I have to finish my story. The reason I haven't finished my story is because I haven't found the meaning of my life yet. I'll get absorbed in my writing, erase it, and then lose sight of how to reach the end. When I'm with you, I can almost see it. It's because you've been here for me. It seems like you might have given me a reason to finish. I'm probably writing this book to find my own meaning in life. And if I do find it, if I do finish the story, 
I hope we have a little more time together after that. The sun is setting. That's it for today. But I hope to see you again. different beans today. I went to a coffee shop and bought some real ones this time. I made sure to store them in the fridge, and I only ground them right before brewing. I also learned you need to be mindful of how hot the water is, as well as how you pour it. Yes, I practiced with the cheaper beans from before, since I can't afford too many of the expensive ones. Although, it was hard to drink all that coffee, so I added a lot of milk and sugar. <laughs> Well then, let's drink, shall we? Cheers! Mm. It's still really bitter. So bitter. But it's not only that. I could actually taste some of the sweetness and richness this time. The beans and brewing technique can make a huge difference, huh? Oh, and the smell was great too. I'm feeling a little nostalgic, actually. Thanks for joining me. You can go on ahead. I'm gonna practice a little more to try and get the hang of this. Let's make some more if we ever get the chance. Oh. Uh, first, I gotta use the bathroom. I drank a lot while I was practicing today.
Registering personas? Registering, I see. Register it. I've completed register. Ah, well then. It is a special persona you desire. You can't control this one yet. You can't control this one yet. Well then. Shall we take a look? Take all the time. This persona, yes? Is this acceptable? This persona, yes? Is this acceptable? This persona, yes? This persona, yes? This would be a wise choice. This would be a wise choice. This would be a wise choice. This persona is powerful. This persona is powerful. Is this acceptable? Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a fair amount of extra power. This persona, yes? What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a fair... <laughs> a new power emerges.
What kind of persona? Is this acceptable? Please take a look. Please take a look. Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Ah, what kind of persona? Do you this power might be too much for you? You can't control this one yet. 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 Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. This persona is powerful. here. Take it easy. Good hustle out there. You'd better wrap up too. See you next practice. Whoa. What's up? I was just gonna sneak back into practice. My mom's been on my case. She took me to the hospital. She insisted after I told her about my knee. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. You said it. I don't get why my mom and the rest of the team are acting like this. It's exhausting having everyone up in your business. Today they took some x-rays. They'll give me the results in a few days. Not sure why that has to take so long. Oh, hey! Don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, all right? I'm counting on you. I feel bad for always asking you to keep things quiet. Sorry about that. Doctor told me to take it easy today, but we should still get to practice. Oh, wait, if you're leaving, that means practice is already over. Well, I guess I'll just go home. See ya.
Sorry I'm late. I ran into some unexpected trouble. All right, here goes. Back me up, would you? I'm gonna make pancakes. Think you can help? I guess you could say I've got a craving. I used to eat them all the time at the orphanage. I know they sell frozen ones nowadays, but nothing beats freshly cooked, right? Think so? I just thought more would be better than less. Well, let's go on and get started. Okay, uh, first things first. Uh, what exactly do we do first? Uh, I, I think the recipe said to use lots of butter and to regulate the pan's temperature with a damp washcloth. Wait, we put a washcloth in the pan? Won't it burn? You sure? <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how to cook anything besides the stuff I use for bodybuilding. I can break the eggs and mix the batter. I'll leave the actual cooking part to you. Oh, so that's how you use the washcloth. How about we add some protein powder? Hey, don't look at me like that. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get the plates. All right, I think this will be enough. Oh, check it out! Wow, look at all the pancakes! I knew something smelled good! Yeah, just give me a minute. We can eat once I bring them out. Would you mind getting everyone else? <laughs> and don't forget Amada. Okay! Oh, it's like a Tartarus of pancakes! Did the two of you make all of these yourselves? Yeah, although this guy was the one who cooked them. I said I had a hankering, but we might have made too much. I like pancakes, but no way I can eat all of these myself. If you guys could pitch in, that'd be great. So you like pancakes too, Sonata-san? Thank you. I can't wait to have some. I'll make some tea. I've got some leaves that'd be great for the occasion. It's pancake party time, as they say. <laughs> Thanks for the pancakes. They were really good. Tasted like a lot of care went into them. If you ever make some again, I'd like to help out too. For as many as we made, they sure did disappear fast. Cooking's not really one of my strong points. A certain someone would always say, if you pour protein powder on the ingredients, then you shouldn't be in the kitchen, dumbass. Most of the time, I only ever got to watch someone else cook. So I never really learned myself. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for helping out today. I'm hoping that cheered everyone up a little. Yeah, pretty much. They did things like this back when I was at the orphanage. I just wanted to recreate it. My sister used to cry all the time there. But the pancakes always brought a smile to her face. Hmm. Do you remember that medal you found in the package for my parents? My sister, Miki. She made that back when we were at the orphanage. Based on the letter that came with it, I guess my parents found it when they were cleaning. Miki was gonna give that to me after we learned I was getting adopted out and leaving. But then that fire happened right after. And this metal was all that was left of her. Apparently, Miki used to always say she wanted to thank me for being so strong and kind. She was really quiet, and she'd always be following me around. I don't really remember doing anything special for her, but I guess she was relying on me as her older brother. Seeing that medal made me think, would my sister be proud of who I am now? Am I really strong and kind enough to deserve that medal? If I'm being honest, I don't really know what it means to be strong or kind. 
Everyone who's ever said that to me has left without telling me the most important part. You saw how I was today. This is all I'm capable of right now. I haven't grown at all since I was a kid. <laughs> They'd laugh if they saw me now. Maybe my sister would say that. But you know not everyone would cut me that much slack. I realized I'd just been running away all this time. Making excuses about having my own problems. But from now on, I'm gonna protect it all. We promised we'd become strong together. I won't let him down. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate that. I'll be counting on you next time. <laughs> the point of this whole thing was to cheer everyone up. And yet I'm the one getting supported here, you know? I think you're the kind of person my sister would have looked up to. All right, that's enough talking about the past. Let's hurry up and finish clean. <sighs> well, <clears throat> I ran into that group of punks on my way home from shopping today. There were even more from this time. And one guy managed to get a good hit in. Don't worry, though. I didn't do anything that would get me in trouble with the police. I just let them throw as many punches as they wanted until they got tired and gave up. I thought I could dodge them all, but uh, <laughs> I guess I've still got room to improve. You know what? Yep, yep. Attention, please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money, too. Y yes, you're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good, you're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um, 
Miss President, I... I... I can do this. I just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi? All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! remember what happened that day you had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving I also remember handing the fee money to you directly or are you really going to say that this is my mistake fee money give me an explanation right now or else I am so sorry you're right it's, it's completely my fault well senpai has been wait what well the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I'd been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> It's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. I've been like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, 
Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while. I didn't think I had it in me, but I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! be friends? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I'm just glad that we're still closer than when we first met. Oh, I still have to apologize to the student council president. I think I owe her an explanation, so excuse me. It'll be a full moon again in just another week, finally. This will be the 12th ordeal. Are you ready? I can't tell if time's been at a crawl or flying on by. But either way, a lot's happened, hasn't it? It's a bit soon to be reminiscing, though. How about I come see you once it's over? Be careful now.
thanks. So, there's something I want to ask you. Um... Why do you spend so much time with me? It's gotten you into a whole mess of trouble. And honestly, some of the stuff I've said is really not okay. Is it because we're both Persona users? Or are we actually good friends? Or do you, by any chance, have feelings for... What do you really think of me? Yeah, I thought so. I mean, you're always so nice to everyone. It's not like I'm special. Even so, uh, as a friend, do you like me? <sighs> I see. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Sorry. It just feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Oh, come on. In it together, Yukari. <sighs> you know, your like and my like may be a little different. But we're connected in another way. I think that's something special, too. Don't you? for a bit. Starting tomorrow, this never happened, okay? I'll go on being your good friend. So, I'm gonna go now. Bye!
Let's get on with today's lesson. Taking the time to help me. Did you know that if you want a space to do street fundraising, you have to send the application two months in advance? I wonder if this is going to be enough flyers. Yes, it is. But this is what I signed up for. The student council president mentioned the street fundraiser before, and now that it's almost here, I asked to be in charge of it. Ever since that business with Mr. Takenozuka got resolved, I felt more confident. Or maybe proactive is the better word. I can even talk to the boys in my class now, too. Well, a little. Anyways, running this fundraiser is just the beginning. From now on, I'm not going to be afraid of trying new things. Oh, but, um, I'd appreciate it if you could still help me every now and then, just like today. Yes, thank you. Oh, that reminds me. Do you remember that illustration collection I found at the bookstore? Apparently, someone ended up buying it. I checked the other day and it wasn't there anymore. But for some reason, I'm not sad about it. As long as whoever bought it is happy, then I'm happy too. Um, I'd like you to have this. It's a collection of manga short stories by the same artist. I bought it a long time ago, and I read it so many times that I've practically memorized it. I'd like this book to be read by all sorts of people, too. Just like that illustration collection, I'm sure that's much better than me just keeping it for myself. Could I ask that you be the first of those many readers? When you finish reading it, please pass it on to someone else. Maybe it would be a good idea to hand it off at the bookstore. It's not in print anymore, so you'll never see it in new releases. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so lucky to have met you. That book couldn't be in better hands. I am Val. Val, our 
and I, the bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Justice Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Justice within thyself. Interrupting? No, not at all. Did you need something? Well, the student council led a street fundraiser a while back, and they asked for regular students to participate, right? We were curious about maybe learning more. Did you have any information on that? Of course. I can help with that. Oh, thank you again for helping me today, Senpai. I'm sorry I ended up taking so much of your time. I'll handle the rest by myself. do this on my own. It's just a little bit of talking. Um, if the timing is convenient though, let's walk home together again sometime. Okay, go ahead and fill out your name and class on this form. Now, as far as what you should expect on the day of... Door unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. Hmm. Surface body temperature reads 36.2 degrees Celsius. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. Hmm. I cannot stay too long or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. Hmm. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. I should be safe as long as I sneak out before morning. I will keep watch over him for a little longer.
I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, I'm away from home, so it's no big deal, I suppose. And this fashion magazine... I thought I'd take a look after I saw Takeba purchasing one. 256 snazzy looks to knock the socks off of your BFFs. Get her look. Sweet but glam do's and don'ts. <sighs> what is this even saying? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. The cutest essentials. Well, I would be open to trying this pink one. <laughs> Not that it would suit me anyway. I'm no Takeba. I should remember there's a difference between what appeals to me and what I can actually pull off. <laughs> Not good. I'm going to catch a cold. I should turn in. I have to be up early again tomorrow. Now, which pajamas shall I wear tonight? Like this, I guess? Welcome. I'll be taking care of you today. Are you ready to order, or do you need a little more time? Hmm. It's too bad the school festival got cancelled. I already went to all the trouble of putting this on, so maybe I should wear it around the dorm for the day. Hmm. Sup, Yucatan? Hey, does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Takuba? You planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? <sighs> Forget it. I've been meaning to return this, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform. Huh. It's not just a costume. Oh, I should take a picture before I give this back to Senpai. Yukari-chan, are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, one sec! I know! I'll drag Fuka down with me. At least then I won't be alone in the embarrassment. Yukari-chan, those clothes. I've got a couple spares if you want to try one on. How about it? Huh? Um, wait. Don't worry. Just hold still. It's a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Um, wait, Yukari Chun? Morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now.
Okay, let's begin. Then... Listen. I think I am done for today. Could we go somewhere to eat after this? Merci. That means a lot to me. There is something I need to talk to you about. Hello. Where do I begin? I'm afraid... I might have to go back home soon. The only reason I was able to come here was because of my aunt. But my uncle did not agree with the decision. Get home now, maintenant. Is he my uncle or the mafia? If I do return home, back to my uncle, I might never come back to Japan again. Do you mean it? I would love to stay. I want to dedicate my life to learning everything about Japan. Except, it does not matter what I say to him. I cannot afford to live here without my uncle's help. And I have gotten to know you well. I cannot simply say, see you later, and leave you like this. Is 
It's almost time to say, see you later. Then I'll see you at the club sometime. until the very end. That last line he exchanged with the casino's boss gave me goosebumps. And how about that part when he was all, count to five? <laughs> I hope I can be like him when I'm an adult. What do you think it takes for a guy to be hard-boiled? That's true. The detective did always make the right call, no matter what situation he was in. He was compassionate, but level-headed, and he never fell for the enemy's tricks. Come to think of it, that might be just what I need right now. I tend to get worked up about what's right in front of me, don't I? That's exactly the kind of thing a kid would do. I need to fix that. Well, now's as good a time as any to start. I'll give it my best shot. If I do that, do you think I could become like him? A cool, hard-boiled guy. Just like the detective in the movie. <laughs> when I hear you say it, I really feel like it's possible. Oh boy, look at the time. But I still want to talk about the movie. Uh, uh, wait, I'm not sleepy yet, okay? <sighs> Once we should come, prepare to be.
Thank you.